Hello team and welcome to today's video. We're going to be taking a look at the VLOOKUP function in Excel. This will be a quick tutorial to cover the basics of how to use this function and I'll also talk about some of the limitations of using VLOOKUP. For those of you with more current versions of Excel, I do also recommend checking out the XLOOKUP function and I'll link a video for that in the description. Let's get started. I have here a basic employee report showing employee names, their IDs, and training they've been assigned as well as their training status. Based on the employee ID, I want to pull in the training status using VLOOKUP. I'll begin by entering the VLOOKUP function. First Excel is asking for the lookup value. We can use the employee ID in this case because that's a unique identifier for each row. To enter that in, I can just click the cell where I have the employee ID I want to look up stored. I'll enter a comma. Now Excel is asking for the table array. In your table array, it's important to include the column with your lookup value and the column with the data you want to return. So I'll click and drag the mouse over the employee ID column all the way over to training status. Another comma. Now Excel is asking for the column index number. Since training status is the third column in our table array, I'll enter the number three. One final comma. Now Excel is asking if I'd like an approximate or exact match. Since employee ID should be unique to each employee, I'll double click false to enter that in for an exact match. Now when I click enter and check it out, Excel returned the correct training status based on the employee ID. By looking for employee ID in this column, and then returning the corresponding data in the third column in our array. One of the limitations of the VLOOKUP function is that your lookup value needs to be to the left of the data you want to return within your table array. So in this example, I pulled a report where employee ID is off to the right of the training status. However, this is an issue we can easily fix. Simply highlight the data you want to move, click Ctrl X on the keyboard to cut, then you can right click and insert cut cells to paste it to the left of the training status, which is what we want to return. Another limitation of VLOOKUP is that it will only return to you the first instance of a match. Notice in this updated spreadsheet, John's name is listed twice with the same employee ID, but John has been assigned multiple trainings, one is complete, the HR training though is in progress. With the VLOOKUP formula still in place, with my entire table array highlighted, VLOOKUP is only going to return the complete training status for compliance because that is the first match within the table array. I do have a workaround for this limitation of VLOOKUP so that you can reference multiple columns before returning your value, and I'll link that video in the description. VLOOKUP can be used across multiple spreadsheets as well. In fact, this is one of the more common ways I personally use VLOOKUP in my career. In my spreadsheet on the left, I have a list of employee names and employee IDs, and I want to pull in the employee email so I can contact them. On the right-hand side, I've pulled a report that contains employee information, such as their name, ID, hire date, salary, and it includes their email. As you can see, it also includes some other information that I don't need. This report also contains a lot of employees, and I'm only looking for information of five of them. So instead of finding each of these employees one by one, let's use VLOOKUP to pull in the email data. I'll begin again by entering VLOOKUP. The lookup value will be the employee ID because that matches on both reports. I'll enter a comma. The table array will be columns B through E on the report on the right. The table array starts with the employee ID column and ends with email, which is the data I want to return. After another comma, the column index number in this case will be four because email is the fourth column in our table array. One final comma, and then I'll enter false again for an exact match, click enter. And now I can double click to drag this down and I have all my employee emails pulled in. As you can see, Team VLOOKUP is an incredibly powerful function that can help you perform various tasks within Excel. I hope you enjoyed this video today. Please like and subscribe to the channel and leave comments about additional tips you'd like to see covered.